Okay guys, here's my 1400mm uh, P51B from FMS, their newest and their latest one in the Shangri-La scheme. Um, I've got the Mr. RC Sounds version 4 in here, powering two 2 inch speakers of his. Uh, so I thought I'd do a real quick video, uh, kind of let you hear what it sounds like here. I'm still kind of syncing the throttle and shutdown sequences a little bit, so there may be a little bit of out of sequence there on the start. I just kind of wrap this up uh, today with getting everything in and some of the detailing that I've been working on with the cockpit. Uh, I don't have the canopy glued on. So anyway, we'll give it a shot here and see what, what you think. Here's the startup. so forth but um, it's actually not bad and he's got it he's got it set that way on purpose and it's the only sound file that's real short like that guys it's just the Merlin and so forth but uh, I knew I should have had the canopy glued on that before I started that but I can also reach right in here airplane three change the sound and now we can go to three and you change up to six sounds in this uh, this particular sound card I got on here I'll be having another one show up uh, later on here. I'm not sure exactly what this one is here, but I think this is the Continental. Uh, and I'm not really fond of the Continental. Airplane 4. And that's how quick it is to change sounds on here. <laughs>
extra sounds he got with it. I have all the sounds plugged in here. Guns. Clear. Clear prop. Or clear. And a kind of a deep cannon roaring sound. Those couple sounds there and the deep one on the on the Mustang are really hard to hear when the engine's going. So I'm actually going to talk to him about that. See if we can't find a few sound files that run up that go over that because they were literally inaudible and you wouldn't be able to hear them in the air at all. Airplane one. Whoops. Airplane two. The red button is real touchy. Airplane three. Air airplane five. Airplane. Six. Now then, this is the jet sound, and I'm just going to fire this up to let you listen to it, but it is the loudest of the bunch, and it is ear deafening. But at least you can hear what it sounds like mounted up in a foam fuselage, which would be the same if you had it on your EDF. And he has some sound, three sounds to go with that as well. Kind of a Gatling gun sound. Standard machine gun. Clear. And his clear sound. Instead of the plastic trays. 
uh, and I talked to Andrew about this, if you do remove it from his from the plastic insert that he's got, it will void your warranty on these. But these made it a little hard to mount mine in, in the particular application and in the foam, so I needed to pull a speaker out, and I actually made some custom wooden boxes in here. They're actually a little bit deeper, so there's some air, there's a little more air volume at the back back here for the air to resonate in, and I ported the back of it. I've also played around with putting tubes inside of here that give it some of that deep effect, and it fits really nice up in the airplane, just cutting a square hole and then gluing this up in there. This would also work real well as long as you'll take these ridges with the Dremel tool and grind these off. It'll fit up in there real well, but it mounts real flush. The sound is a little bit of a deeper sound when I got it in here because of the airplane box here. And I'm doing this at my own risk uh, just to try around some experiments in here. I have found that uh, the second ring you see there is actually the size of a toilet tube from the uh, empty toilet tube roll from your toilet uh, paper. And that works real well. I actually have that done on that ME109 back there with the same two speakers in the back of it. But uh, I chose to go with wooden boxes because they're at, the speakers are actually screwed into the wooden boxes, mounted on tabs, and if anything happens to them, they get damaged. I can simply unscrew them, pull them out, and re-solder the wires back on it, run it up to the fuselage, mount it, put the screen back on, which is also held on by screws, and I don't have to tear up anything. It makes for an easy maintenance and replacement of the speakers instead of having glued in the box and having to glue the box in and then have to go back in with an X-Acto knife and cut it out should something happen with them. Uh, you do make sure if you do use boxes that you put a, uh, some ventilation around them so that the pressure doesn't build up behind the speaker cone and blow it. Which is why Andrew has these holes in the side here is to allow the alleviation of pressure that the speaker is putting inside the box to escape so that it doesn't rupture the paper cone. Anyway, I hope you guys like it and I'll fire it up one more time here for you. Hope you guys enjoy, and no comments about me running around in my bathrobe. It's the weekend, and I'm off work, enjoying myself and being comfortable.